Welcome back, everybody. Another wonderful day of Fusion 360. We're going to get right in from our last video when we talked about insert edge and insert points. This is our soon to be weird looking shark fin. It is just getting more and more displaced on itself. It is not even at all. I know you're screaming symmetry, you're screaming mirror, but we're not there yet. Now I'm going to add a really weird crease right down the middle of it. Really simple tool. The crease tool is a lot of fun. If I select it, it selects everything. Everything becomes yellow. But what's happening is it's saying, okay, let's say I had more than one object. I can select the objects. Select one panel. Hit crease. It will select crease those things. That I jumped ahead there. Sorry about that. So let's hit crease. The whole thing gets selected. You get to choose the lines that crease. The, a crease is really simple. It's just, it wants to become a 90 degree angle, but it can't always. So it makes an effort to get close and it creates a sharp edge, not a rounded edge. So let's say you wanted a point, you'd make a crease around that point and that will help you create the point. So that crease right there, if I go all the way around, it is really stretching out here. That's okay. We are all for that right now. I'll keep the bottom like that. So now if you look at it, it used to be rounded, but now it is really sharp. Very, very simple. And that's basically it. When you crease it, it becomes sharp. So let's say you wanted to make a panel that kind of folds out here. As an example, we're not going to keep this on our shark fin. But let's say I want this to be sticking out a bit more. I would crease right there, crease there, and there. Actually, leave the bottom smooth. And now I have this odd looking, I can still move it. It's not stuck. I have this odd looking growth on my, uh, my shark fin. And that's basically it. Let me get rid of that. Now, one thing you can do is if you want, let's say this panel to crease, instead of selecting all the edges, just select the panel. I did this by accident at the beginning. Hit crease, it will crease it automatically and you're done. Or select the panel, crease, remove the one you don't want. So you're saving clicks, saving time, your workflow is faster and you're, you're through. That's really it. Uh, to uncrease, select to crease, hit uncrease and it fixes it. It goes back to the original smooth shape. Very basic tool, very, very handy. Uh, you'll find that if you use it in certain situations, it works wonders, others it will not. It's sort of a work in progress for you. The tool works great, but you have to find out what works for you and where it works for you. Because like anything, you gotta build your skills. So here we go, that's it. You're on to the next video. The next one, we'll talk about flatten. Flatten is a lot of fun. Uh, we will see what we can make out of this really strange shark fin next time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later.